In Minnesota versus Millock's Band of Chippewa Indians, the United States Supreme Court answered whether Indian tribes retain treaty rights unless Congress expresses its intent to revoke the rights. In an 1837 treaty, several bands of Chippewa Indians, including the Millock's Band, agreed to cede Chippewa lands in present-day Wisconsin and Minnesota to the United States. As part of the treaty, the United States guaranteed that the Chippewa would retain rights, known as usufructuary rights, to hunt, fish, and gather rice on the ceded lands. In an 1850 executive order, President Zachary Taylor ordered the removal of the Chippewa from the ceded lands and revoked the Chippewa's usufructuary rights. However, the removal was unsuccessful, so the United States abandoned its removal policy. In a new treaty in 1855, the Chippewa agreed to sell their remaining land to the United States and give up their rights and title to the land. The 1855 treaty was silent regarding the Millox Band's usufructuary rights. In 1858, Minnesota became a state. In 1990, the Millox Band filed suit against the state of Minnesota. The Millox Band sought a declaratory judgment that it retained the usufructuary rights granted in the 1837 treaty. The Millox Band also sought an injunction to prevent Minnesota from interfering with its usufructuary rights. Minnesota argued that the Millox Band's usufructuary rights were extinguished by either the 1850 Executive Order, the 1855 Treaty, or Minnesota's Enabling Act. The district court found in favor of the Millox Band. Minnesota appealed. The Court of Appeals affirmed the district court's holding. Minnesota appealed again. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.